Hi, you're watching India Post Live. I'm Shivraj, and today we're discussing bicomania. If you want to join the conversation, you log on to our website, indiapostlive.com. You can also tweet with us, hashtag indiapostlive. Now, we've all seen those daredevil stunt bikers on the roads in Delhi, sometimes even in the middle of the night. Now, the police have called in religious leaders to try and counsel them. Will divine intervention really make that much of a difference? Let's take a look. Stunt biking is to many Indians what skateboarding is to some Americans, a means of self-expression. No wonder then that freestyle stunt biking is set to take off as a competitive sport in India soon. Stunt biking already has a large following all over India. But to put an end to rogue bikers causing mayhem at areas around India Gate and areas of New Delhi, police have sought help from religious heads. So how will religious gurus be able to put a break to these bikers' antics with their divine intervention? For more details, we have Monty or Mohit Chaudhary, the formal name that few know him by Drip's attitude, tough, cool, devil may care, and why not? He is one of the top 10 freestyle stunt riders of India. And when he performs, the hair on the back of your neck stands up. Let's see how he zip zap zooms through this controversial step taken by the Delhi police against him and many more like him. And of course, we've got Monty in the studio with us, one of those daredevil bikers in that video. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you do. First of all, thanks a lot for calling me here. Uh, hi, my name is Monty. I'm riding from last 10 years. And stunt riding is uh, like, uh, it's not a sport, it's like a lifestyle. So I'm riding from almost it's 10, 11 years. Okay, and also joining us in studio is Avinash. You're with XBHP Motorcycling. Uh, explain what, what that is. Uh, basically, XBHP is all about uh, motorcycling as a lifestyle. We, so we are about travel and living. And we ride across the country, across the world. We have 50,000 plus members from uh, Arunachal to Gujarat, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. And our members are riding, have pretty much covered the globe with their motorcycles. So just before I come to you, you know, Monty, you were saying something very interesting that from the moment you started speaking, motorbiking became part of your DNA. For a lot of people who've seen those people on the roads, you know, being disruptive, what's the difference between responsible stunt riding and, res and, and irresponsible stunt riding? Who uh, are these people? For, on the roads? First of all, I want to tell media, please don't tag them with stunt riders. They are not okay. stunt riders. They are hooligan, uh, hooligans that uh, came from, uh, like, uh, play any places and do stunt, stunting on road, that, that's not a way to prove yourself or do uh, prove that you are a good stunt rider. So if you want to be a stunt rider, go, uh, you should wear proper gears and you should do stunt rider on uh, isolated places. Okay. And you know, Avinash, um, you were saying that, that you know, it's, it's about a lifestyle. It's about communities of certain people who, like Monty, enjoy doing something responsibly. What's your reaction to what the Delhi police is doing right now? Trying to bring in religious leaders to get 250 uh, stunt riders of, of what you say hooligans in, uh, into a room and counsel them. Will that ever work? Unfortunately, this is not about, uh, the incident was not really about motorcycling, it was more about people on motorcycles. Right. These guys are not bikers, they're not motorcyclists, they just happen to be on motorcycles. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, what the Delhi police is trying to do is rein them in mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, probably would uh, support the Delhi police in, you know, controlling this. Uh, because a lot of people, when they're traveling in their car, they're traveling on the motorcycles at night and you have someone uh, messing around with you, it's not cool. So if the Delhi police can help out with the citizens, that's a very good initiative. So Monty, you know, you, you are somewhat, you know, like from that video, somewhat of a, of, of a professional, motivational stunt rider in the real sense. Uh, would you see yourself in a role going out there and sort of working with the Delhi police and trying to explain to them, these are rowdies, they're hooligans, they're not really stunt riders? Uh, or do you think they're the problem? They're probably going to the media and saying these guys are stunt riders and therefore they're bad. Yeah, th definitely it's an effect on our image. And one thing I want to do tell that uh, even I started from highway 10 years ago. We all started from highways, expressways. Probably. But that time was it's okay. You can do the, there was not that population. Now you can, uh, you can, can't do stunt on uh, busy roads in public place. Even if suppose my family 
is uh, roaming around the city and some guy came and do doing wheelie when i get, get angry on, you know, on him it's not about stunt riding it's it's about like you do like like cheap things on street you want to be stunt rider go to the uh, search a good spot or parking place or uh, isolated place for stunt riding okay now stunt riding is associated with a lot of danger it's yeah. seen as very risky and you know like we saw in that video you were doing some really cool stuff but it can be dangerous yeah. what is what is stunt riding really all about what precautions do you take what is it about really usually you have to wear good brand uh, riding gears like helmet jackets and boots uh, but uh, it's my job so i don't feel so dangerous so abinash you know coming back we've got a tweet saying you know bikomania haha what a joke god will enlighten these rowdies from from a organization perspective the kind of organization that you you represent is there something you can do to go and change the public perception and go something that we can do something which we are already doing okay which is so we have uh, bike rallies and all in different cities of the uh, country our members take of those rallies in association with the de- uh, the police local police so the traffic police so what we do is we try and contacting uh, contact colleges youngsters basically it's the youngsters the hot blooded youngsters who want to do all this so we have to meet them make them understand that what they're doing is not something to show off it there is much more that you can do positively this what they're doing is very negative they are uh, not respecting themselves they're not respecting society they're not respecting the laws they have to understand that when you want to do something properly there is a proper way to go about there is a proper channel we show them that channel so that is what we have been doing we have uh, chapters in meghalaya in kerala lucknow every part of the country we have members who are trying uh, one step at a time trying to get as many youngsters not only youngsters a lot of old people you'll see roam around without a helmet so even everybody on the road we stop them we ask them we give them uh, pamphlets we try to explain to them the usefulness of wearing helmets the basic necessity and uh, unfortunately i think in some cities like uh, pune helmets are not mandatory which is absurd very dangerous and these are serious issues monty right yeah. stunt riding is a serious, serious sport issue. if you do properly and uh, in good sense police will support you like my local area the <coughs> police guy they they support me support me a lot from last uh, last 7 years but you know stunt riding somewhat is also a cult thing right uh, and you know we we've, we've got a tweet that says uh, bike manufacturer should thank john abraham for phenomenal biking craze amongst indians what should stars like john abraham really be doing to promote it as because you see a lot of these ads that they do where somehow they say it's okay to do all the things that you we just talked about being dangerous your reactions you see what you see in movies and you see in advertisements and all is basically in a controlled environment mm-hmm. what you are doing on the road is not the same there is no control you do not know whether a dog will come in front of you a kid will come in front of you and you will probably land up in jail so you cannot follow anything that you see in a movie you see a lot in movie you see a, the girl, guy hero getting the girl that doesn't happen in real life always <laughs> no. so you cannot follow what happens in movies you have to use your own but you do sometimes get the girl no <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just joking but you know um another tweet is the police impotent perhaps the police doesn't have the right idea from a stunt biker's perspective what do you think the police should be doing what's the message they should actually be giving to these guys who they've caught and they've taken it to the first of all first of all police should hire some stunt riders or riders mm-hmm. to the for these this kind of events happening in uh, delhi back to back uh, because uh, last time the guy shot dead last year uh, yes in yeah. the summer yeah 19 year old yeah i think it's not a good thing happening with a with you can't with respond a, with a gun there has gun, to be yeah. some counseling right so, but are religious leaders the right route i should they 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 guys should uh, should hire some some good riders for the for for these these kind of events so at the end of the day religious leaders aren't the bikers as such you know and i'm i'm coming to this because i have a lot of friends from the army from from other uh, institutions as part of a network do you have also people from the police who are part of of the network see uh, if you want to contact you want to basically uh, get these people in conversation so you use whatever channel you have mm-hmm. so i do not know the exacts of this but if the uh, delhi police does believe that maybe to get through that the message across religious leaders are the best then bets and probably they have a point i do not know but what i would suggest what i would prefer is something like a educational institution or something where you basically contacting the youngsters where they are you go to them you contact them you are in conversation with them 
then you make a difference. So, for, so Monty, for so assuming that some of these guys who who doing this, you know, irresponsibly are watching the show, what is the real discipline that goes behind the profession of stunt riding? Clearly, you have been doing this for many years, and there's obviously something you follow. Stunt riding is not like any other sport. It's like it's one of uh, most growing sport, first of all, and uh, most toughest sport in the world. So, you it need every sport need dedication, blood, bone. And lot of lot of practice, hard practice. So, if you want to be stunt riding, just first of all ask your parents and ask your local police area that you want to be a stunt rider and you need a practice place, you need a spot to do stunt riding. And ask ask somebody who already is famous in stunt riding, a good stunt rider, and do in a proper way. And you know, from X B H P's perspective, you were talking about social initiatives that you're doing. What are the other things that XBHP does? I mean, because I know that it's a whole lifestyle. There's a whole thing. There's like Himalayan tours, people doing, uh, you know, cross-country biking. Sure. Uh, clearly, you know, there is a lot of good and yeah. bad associated with it. What is the whole lifestyle about associated with this phenomenon? See, when you travel, you are influencing people. You, every person you meet, you are influencing. Right. When you meet them and you behave in a responsible way, that guy is going to walk away and say, okay, bikers are not that bad, actually. You know, they are real human beings. So, wherever you go, you are always making a difference. And when you go, you travel, you see different places, you see different perspectives, you become, uh, you empathize with people's problems. Like recently, I w just went to Spiti in uh, uh, winter, which was minus 12 over there. So, when you actually go among the people, then you realize their problems. And that is, and then when you share those, your experiences, that is when the lifestyle, as a motorcycling as a lifestyle comes through. When you're sharing your experiences with a lot of people across the country, across the globe. And what about bike manufacturers? Do they support you? Yeah, I got sponsorship from many brands like Yamaha, TBS, KTM, Bajaj. They guys working good in India. You know why I'm asking that question is because, you know, the BMW, for instance, has been associated with accidents. I think it, it's time that even bike manufacturers stepped in and sort of maybe supported a more socially responsible way of doing what to do? Yeah. Are they open to that? Yeah, the bike, bike guys, they guys promoting their brand as a stunt rider because the, the lot of youngsters are been to stunt riding in India now. Mm -hmm. After France, India is the second biggest country having stunt riders, maximum numbers of stunt riding. So that's why the, the brand they want to promote biking and uh, stunt riding in India. Because uh, they know stunt riding is one of uh, most growing sport in India. And and Avinash, how how do you organize it? Because like Monty pointed out, it's the second largest after France. Clearly, it's a huge number of people. Uh, how do you go about organizing them under some sort of responsible umbrella so that this perception of them being rowdy goes away? Yeah. So uh, you just mentioned about manufacturers. Now recently, a couple of manufacturers, Honda and Yamaha, both in separate ways they have started an initiative where they are contacting schools and they are actually going to the root of the problem from uh, they are training children in basic road sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, your st it, the result of that won't be visible tomorrow it will probably be visible after 5 years but that investment has to be made by the government by uh, the uh, manufacturers who are basically profiting from this they have to give some back to the community to the uh, people who are going to be riding tomorrow on the road so if you train them today, then tomorrow they'll be a responsible citizen, a responsible rider. So that is one very good initiative by these two come manufacturers in India. So and I from, started yeah. my career with the XBHP uh, when I was uh, 14 year old. So I started my career with the XBHP, and now I have a club called Bikers for Good. We do charity. Mm -hmm. You know, do I, I do charity from stunt riding? Mm -hmm. I donate uh, every year. I donate a uh, lot of money and a lot of things like clothes, boots, books to the poor kids and homeless people. Okay, so, so we do have a Skype caller from Delhi, Devyanshu. You're joining in the conversation uh, yes. on, on Bikomania. What do you have to say? I uh, to Monty. Uh, I want to tell that I'm a very big fan of them. I want to uh, their team. Uh, their team is called Team Everlast. And I want to ask you to say that Monty. कि स्टंट uh, रेडिंग की मतलब क्या मतलब वो है बेनिफिट्स क्या है 
uh, Divyanshu, now you can set your career in stunt riding if you do in proper way. अगर आप अच्छे हो stunt riding के अंदर आप अच्छा perform कर रहे हैं and uh, proper way में कर रहे हैं using proper riding gears, तो you can set a career. और uh, it's all up to you कि आप कहाँ तक जाते हैं. आप अब अभी recently कुछ scene हुआ था दिल्ली में. उन्होंने काफी bikers ने और जंग मचाया था. आपको भी पता होगा. आपने भी देखा होगा. First of all, Divyanshu, you know all the thing कि वो लोग bikers नहीं थे. The media attack them with the stunt rider or bikers. कोई भी ऐसे stunt riders नहीं होंगे जो 200-250 की भीड़ में ऐसे निकलें without helmet, riding gears, तीन-तीन लोग बैठे हुए हैं और public के साथ बदतमीजी कर रहे हैं। Even अगर आपकी family कहीं जा रही है और आपके आपकी family के साथ बदतमीजी होती है तो आपको भी अच्छा नहीं लगेगा इसी। तो यही same चीज दिल्ली की सड़कों पे होती है। तो उससे क्या होता है Okay. Thank um, you, Divyanshu. Thank you so much, Divyanshu, for joining in. Um, yeah. You know, the experience of stunt riding or the experience of biking uh, is associated with a certain adrenaline rush. So there is a danger of a bit of irresponsible behavior also stepping in. What do you do in that sort of situation uh, when that happens? I always make sure that uh, I avoid the, avoid the crowded place. And during my show, I always make sure that the barricade, we will do proper barricades. and. Uh, Always maintain some distance from the public because uh, I'm good in my sport, but uh, somehow if somebody came inside or the fall in the, on the track, so uh, he might be injured. So, if Avinash, if your message to the Delhi police and you know what would it be right now? Because clearly their strategy is very. And a lot of people can't understand it. It's knee jerk. Yeah, and the media has also written about how they don't understand why religious leaders are being brought in. What did, what would be an ideal strategy for the Delhi police to leverage? So, uh, something like this, you cannot have a knee jerk reaction. You always have to be prepared. You have to do something in advance. Mm -hmm. So, the Delhi police should uh, uh, contact groups like uh, theirs, ours. We together can make a change, make, can make a difference. We, uh, if everybody runs around like headless chickens in opposite direction, nothing is going to happen. We have are to there any Delhi together. police personnel part of BHP? No, we, but we are always in cont uh, constant touch, contact. We always try to you know, improve, improve things. As I said, it's one step at a time. We hope to improve it faster now. So, yeah. Monty, you were referring to last year's instance of, of them use, yeah. using, you know, okay. them their guns to stop the bikers. What has the reaction been from the biker community to what's been happening? Has there been any move to actually contact the police and say this is not the way we need to tackle it? Uh, actually, yeah, right. This is not a way to tackle a 19-year-old guy. But uh, some other people, they, they don't understand. They're still doing that, that stupid thing on the streets. Took their bike and, and irritate people and do that, that shitty things on the street. That's not a way. To prove yourself, because a lot of youngsters, they say, they seem like stunt riding is a easy way to get fame, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. famous in exactly. your local area. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not. I told you, it's not a, not, not a. So like is the a, connotation slightly wrong that you know if you're on a bike, bike and you're cool that, yeah, and you have a nice girl like you at the yeah, back, you are somehow yeah, in charge yeah. and a. But it's not like I told you that, that it's a lifestyle. Okay, you guys doing from last. We'll in fact, we've got a tweet from Pavitra who says, Bikomania bikers are cool, but without safety, it's uncool. Care yeah. for your family, guys. I think that's a very important Absolutely, message to yeah. give out, right? Absolutely. It's yeah, not yeah, about you, you but home. it's about everyone yeah. around you. Yeah. Because if you see from last year's inc incident, it wasn't just about the person who was shot. There was the whole family involved. Yeah. There was a controversy that yeah. blew up in your face. Um, there is definitely something to be said about how the government or the, or the authorities on ground should tackle this, right? Yeah, when, if you're not going to be responsible, your responsibility is going to have severe impact, not to yourself. You, you are bound, bound to be impacted, but your family, your friends, people in society at large, everybody is going to be impacted. And that is something the person has to realize, that every action of theirs is counted and they're accountable for what they do. So you can never know what will happen. So XBHP, like Aminash is saying, it's a large organization. You said when you were 14, you start with them. What is the process of getting bikers to really become uh, professional, responsible? Are th is there some sort of like steps that need to be taken? Uh, first of all, you need a biker heart okay. to follow Which your passion. <laughs> and, uh, and your passion can be your job. Uh, okay. Like uh, I started when stunt riding, I was in schools and then a lot of people say you can't earn money. You can be that rich or that, that famous. Uh, 
Uh, now, no, seriously, uh, I'm famous. I, I've got money. I've got a lot of fans, a lot of loving people around me. So, that's all you need is is a proper way. So, you know, Pavitra said, talked about care for your family, guys, right? Yeah. So, my next question is, how did your family or your parents react to the fa uh, fact that you wanted to be a stuntman? First of all, my dad never supported me about, okay. uh, in this stuntman. I bought my first bike with myself. Mm -hmm. And my mom, she always supported me a lot. Uh, she always... Uh, but, uh, she had the dar, but uh, she always uh, give me money to buy new helmets, always to buy better new jackets. So, she always watched watch my videos. So That's encouraging. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a really big support for me. And Avinash, there's another tweet that's come in from Rishabh Rana who says, Why can't we rather have some proper schools for the bike stunt enthusiasts? Are there schools out there? Maybe people don't know. Unfortunately, no. Yeah, I have, uh, I'm running a school in Dwarka. Okay. I'm running a stunt school in Dwarka, so a lot of young guys come over there so for learning some stunt riding, some cool tricks. So, you know, so, so why I'm asking that, Avinash, also is that for any sport in the West, they organize associations are fine, but they also organize, like, like Monty started, a school where they have an institutional mechanism to organize we what do is not good have what's a bad. basic riding school for people who just want to commute to work. We do not have a riding school for that. Absolutely. Stunt riding comes far ahead of that. So we need to start with the basics. But who be should be dream. responsible for starting this? Who do you think? That is our great government of India. But can you leave it only to government, Monty, to, to instill a sense of responsible biking? Uh, I don't think that the uh, government uh, is responsible for that. Like I told you, a lot of big brands and uh, their guys are coming to India. Like XGL Championship, it's a freestyle sports bike championship. It's mm -hmm. a stunt, uh, stunt riding championship. So it's coming to India in the in this December. So they guys know that stunt riding is really serious sport in the in India, uh, one of most growing sport I can say. So Avinash, would that be a, a good route? Corporate participation, groups like Monty's who have Absolutely. been doing it for so groups many years. Groups like Monty's, groups like ours, XBHP, we are, are the way forward. But alone, nothing will happen. You have to move together. Yeah. Corporates, companies, the government, the police, we together have to come forward. One at a time, not going to happen. And what about Bollywood and, and, the, and the, the popular community? Because you see in Bollywood, they show them doing yeah. all these fight action sequences. But uh, usually the fight actions and the stunt riding uh, stunt riding scenes, are uh, guys like me, they, they Absolutely. do them. I did a uh, couple of Bollywood movies, that stunt riding in a lot of uh, TV ads, magazine shoots. And, what kind uh, of movies have you done? Uh, La Fange Parinde, Peter Gaya Kamse and that uh, players. A lot of TV commercials. So, is it important for Bollywood to, to also send out that message that that there has to be responsible stunt riding? That this isn't the norm. This is just yeah, way. yeah. I always they they, they, they always tell me that uh, uh, your your shot will be without helmet. Uh, they, uh, I said them no. I don't I, I don't I don't do this. I will wear helmet and proper jackets. If you want me to do stunt riding in your sh in your scene, that I will wear proper gears. And that's an important thing that Monty is raising. Absolutely. There are a few things, like even earlier he said, those guys, three of them on a bike, that's not stunt riding. Absolutely. Uh, so what are the characteristics of a responsible stunt rider? I think he's a stunt rider, he'll be able to tell you what the most responsible thing that a stunt rider, Monty will be the best to answer that. Like I told you before, that's... Always you, okay, so from let's break it down for like someone who's watching and wants to know what is a responsible stunt rider need to do to be seen as a responsible stunt rider. What are the three or four key steps? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. proper riding gears. Okay, like? Like helmet, jacket and boots. Okay. okay armor or whatever you want to wear or, or biker lower and uh, in a proper good guidance. And I told you that uh, need a isolate place that no traffic and no public. So you can practice better over there. Okay, interestingly, we have Rishabh Brana who had earlier tweeted with us on Skype joining us. Rishabh, you did, uh, you know, sort of ask a very key question in your Twitter, uh, you know, question to us about proper schools. What more do you want to add? Okay, we don't seem to yes, hear Rishabh. Yeah, uh, but going back to, to the, the steps that, that um, Monty mentioned, Avinash, it is also requiring a lot of investment, right? So where will this funding come from? Of course, you know, people like Monty are, are very you know, big in this sport. They're getting corporate participation. But if, for instance, bikers want to just be 
occasional entertainment kind of bikers, where would you say they should go to get the right information? Uh, XBHU.com. Okay. <laughs> They'll get all the information they require out there. No, yeah. and, that, and, and that's very important information, yeah. right? Yeah. Because, because we don't uh, want to see what we've been hearing about in the media where the center of town is being hijacked by absolutely. these very irresponsible rowdies. Because uh, like, uh, when you're buying a motorcycle, you're not going to uh, get a motorcycle for 500 bucks. You're going to be spending a lakh or so. Mm -hmm. So if you can spend a lakh on motorcycle, you can spend around another 10,000 or so on proper safety gears. So to get people to spend a lakh is not a problem. To get people to spend that next 10,000, that is, is, where the, is a pro big problem. That is where XB, people like us, XBHP, that come, we play that factor to get people to do all that. So going back, Monty, to your riding school in Dwarka, you said you started. Yeah. How are you publicizing it to bring more people into the fold? Uh, through my website and my Facebook page okay. and my Twitter. So um, if I were to take a leap of faith and say, Monty, will you go to Tughlaq Road Police Station right now and tell them that there is a, there is a forum to address this, would you do that? Yeah. I don't know, road of uh, police. Uh, I already posted so so many pictures with poli police. My local police areas, they are so supported, uh, supportive and... Uh, so in Dwarka, in that in immediate Dwarka. region, are, are the police receptive to the fact that there is a difference between the other guys and what you do? No. There is not an acceptance? No. Okay. They always compare me with the them hooligans and uh, that ah. rowdy guys. But uh, I don't know, afraid with the... Uh, having an argument with them, so it's like uh, so, so how do you how do you work through uh, their misunderstanding of it uh, rather than I mean I just I just show them uh, my videos and photographs and my website so what are the reactions they are yar, ye tum yahan kya kar rahe ho? so they are like ki acha aisa bhi hota hai maga sir bilkul aisa bhi hota hai stunt riding ke dusre phase bhi hai so so Avinash, there's obviously quite a lot of work to be done. Monty's doing it, absolutely. You know, in 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 his area of of influence. But what can a larger story, you know, pan India? What can you do to change public perception? It's a slow, ongoing process, and it is ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and are there anything? Is are there any initiatives that you're doing right now yeah. that that would probably uh, be replicated again in Delhi that could maybe change what the police is doing right now? Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, right now I guess everybody, uh, the police will be very busy with the elections and all obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but by and large we are always interacting with as many people as possible with, through the help, with the help of the police or without. Obviously the, if the cops come on board with us, it's always a better thing. But we go ahead, irrespective. <laughs> Okay, we have Rishabh again joining in via Skype. Rishabh, I hope we can hear you now, but earlier I was saying that, you know, you tweeted with us and you said something about proper schools for the bike stunt enthusiasts. We have, um, you know, Monty and Avinash say that there are schools and there are areas and institutions like that in small areas. What's your, your comment and your reaction now? My, I I have to say, are you able to hear me now? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead, Rishabh. Okay. My, uh, my reaction was that... Uh, because a lot of people are uh, people and enthusiasts are showing these uh, bikes, bike stunts and all on the roads that is kind of posing a threat to the traffic on the road, right? So instead of doing uh, in that way, we we should have uh, some schools or some uh, uh, some uh, events uh, which can uh, cater the needs of uh, these uh, enthusiasts rather than uh, or. In that way, they can they can uh, even have uh, something uh, more like a badging of uh, some proper school that like this person has been uh, to this school or has ah. uh, this kind of potential or something. Okay, so so what Rishabh is referring to is accreditation or certification or some sort of uh, badge that distinguishes those bikers from the rest. Is is that is that feasible? Yeah, but then uh, you, uh, you can't give a badge of responsibility to anybody. You do not know. Today they might be responsible, tomorrow they might do something and that institution will uh, lose its uh, yeah. uh, uh, That's respect. That's a danger. That is something you cannot uh, give someone. But there's no certification uh, of levels. Like, no, you know, you in, have in an India, incompetitive martial arts. Driving. Abroad, you ha in your license, you your driving license, you have uh, different FMX levels. Uh, license, uh, stunt, street stunt riding license. Mm -hmm. But India... You have one know. common license for all and that. No, it. and I think Rishabh raised an interesting point. Why I'm asking is that maybe what you could do is uh, a two-step thing. One is accreditation, but also the moment they sign on and they have different levels, they have to adhere to a certain set of principles. Would that work? If they were that responsible, <laughs> then they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Rishabh, you have something to say? 
uh, I thought that maybe accreditation on uh, and an ongoing kind of reality show kind of a thing that is a ah. continuous kind of a thing. Okay, reality uh, show. That's uh, usually we have already a reality show called Stunt Mania. It's closed now just because of uh, they got legal notice from uh, DCP uh, Delhi and the uh, police commissioner of Mumbai. So they closed that show, bro. Oh, oh. Okay, Rishabh, thank you so much, Rishabh, for joining us uh, via Skype. But just a last comment. So that's a huge challenge you just raised. You've got a show, you've got something to try and take education to the mass level. Uh, last comments, because the whole show began with the premise that perhaps the Delhi police's strategy is wrong. Yeah. What are the solutions now? Uh, first of all, the Delhi RTO should uh, make a stunt, stunt riding license or... Uh, any race license for the riders and uh, I told you that uh, police should hire some good street riders and stunt riders for that uh, for the tackle these all events in Delhi. Alright and Avinash religious leaders don't work right? I don't think so but they can try their best. <laughs> okay we can only hope for the best. Do continue joining in on our conversations by posting your comments on this show or other shows on indiapostlive.com. Continue tweeting with us. Hashtag IndiaPostLive. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.